Hey guys, Hot Noob here, and I'm going to be continuing on the whole Android Studio tutorial crap. Now, trying to get the emulator running did not work out so well because it sucks fucking balls. I know it's free, but performance just completely fucking sucks. It blows, and I'm still going to blame Jaffa for it because it fucking sucks. And then to connect your, let's say you have a tablet, and to connect that to develop with, that still fucking sucks, so um, to do so you need to get some drivers and all sorts of fucking shit that uh, doesn't work. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I actually managed to fucking connect to this piece of shit. Um, first of all, you may connect successfully using ADB the first time, but the next time you connect you're going to get fucked. So um, I'm going to go here and show you the commands first. Um, it's pretty simple. It's ADB. Ugh. Well, first I got to show you where to get to the crap, the folder that you need with all the commands. So local disk, program files, and you want the 32-bit one. Android, Android Studio, SDK, platform tools, and you just copy that. And then I'm going to assume that this is a new window here, and, and then you just change directory to it. Anywho, the commands that you pretty much need to know are ADB connect, and then you put in the IP address. I'll show you guys how to get that in a second. Um, 105 type thing, and you press enter and connect. I'm not going to do that right now because it's going to completely fuck up. Um, ADB disconnect. This is for when it does fuck up and you have no way to uh, sort of you know, disconnect it, because it'll just show up in your devices when you go ADB devices, like so, so ADB uh, disconnect, and then ADB devices, and you get no devices, that's pretty much what we want there. So, I'm going to assume that, well, I am connecting a second time, but um, just bear with me here, because you need to know this shit. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your user folder, um, it, it may be hidden, may not be, but you want to go to dot android see this crap here delete it this is for if you cannot connect um, you want to make sure your tablet is disconnected for this step um, then you want to go into an elevated command prompt so if you don't know how to do that command and then uh, run as administrator yes this is assuming that you have UAC enabled then task kill slash you know, I got the command right here, I am adb.exe slash f. Got to do the slash f, process, terminate it. Good, that's what you want. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to the tablet. I'm just going to start up my camera here. Alright, so here is the tablet. I'm going to start off on the screen here. Um... If this is your first time, all you got to do is go to uh, the settings. And then, um, if you don't have developer options enabled, you're going to go to about. And you're going to go to the build number. Um, this, As this is a modded version of Android, you may uh, use the Android number or some other number, but you can just click it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And then you get a pop up, but I already have the settings enabled. This is for if you have a newer tablet, um, because the developer options are hidden on the newer OS's. Anywho, developer options, um, you may want Stay Awake on for when you plug it into the charger or whatever so it doesn't sleep on you. Um, then you go, need Android debugging. Um, I'll go over this a little more. Then the one that you want is ADB over network. Anywho, I'm going to show you guys what you do if you want to connect for a second time. And hopefully I'm not confusing you newbie guys too much. Um, anywho, after you do all that... Uh, okay, for the newbie guys, for the first time, after you do all that, then you connect to your tablet using the ADB connect command. And then you'll be able to use your tablet. And if this is your second time doing this, you want to go to your uh, file explorer here, go to your home, go to the root, and then you want to go to uh, data, scroll down to misc, 
Sorry, I'm not very good at using the, the tablet and the camera at the same time. Um, and you go to ADB, and you'll have your key here, and you want to delete this file. This is pretty trippy. Okay, and delete it. Okay, next, whoops. And like I said before, make sure your thing is disconnected. You're going to want to reboot. And it's going to reboot or restart. Takes a little while. And yet, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have a modded OS, or whatever you want to call it, modded kernel on my tablet. So that makes debugging or development for the USB pretty stupid difficult. You know, I'm going to find all the driver and you know what, just fuck it. So I'm doing it over the network. And I think this is a much, much better solution. Anywho. I can't show you guys my password. I probably already showed it to you, but whatever. No one gives a fuck. Um, okay, from there you need to go to your settings. And... Developer options. Okay. Now I'm going to plug the tablet back in. I'm pretty sure I got the order right. I mean, it's a fucking stupid-ass process. Okay, plugging it in. Okay, it shows up. I'm going to go to debugging. I'm going to turn it off. Then I'm going to turn it on. Press OK. ADB over network. Press OK. Now, we finally go to the command prompt. I'm going to stay on the camera here. And so you go ADB connect with your IP and crap and enter. Then we have here our little prompt and press OK. Then we go back to the computer and everything should be alright. So I'm going to go ADB devices and we have it connected. Fuck. Then we can finally actually do something. Everything with the Android shit is just contortedly fucking contorted. It's just, ugh. Incredibly developer unfriendly. But that's to be expected from Java because Java programmers are typically fucked up in the head and have zero logic whatsoever and do everything to this Java style. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, what the fuck just happened? Okay, just quickly looked it up, and all I did was adb uninstall com.hotnoob.app1, and this apparently happens if you have to do um, another connection. So, there's like 50 million fucking steps just so you can debug this shit. And let's even see if this thing works now. If it, if that even fixed it. Fuck. As you can see, this is why I'm so fucking angry when I develop with Java or just any fucking piece of shit related to Java. Okay, there we go. So, oh, I should probably switch over to my video camera here. And as you can see, I got my app finally launched. So, awesome. Fucking awesome. That took forever. So, I don't know, a little summary of commands that you need to remember. Um, task kill imabd.exe. Hopefully you guys remember the, the fucking order, if it wasn't contorted enough. Um, I know some of you guys are going to be saying that I explained it in a contorted manner, but that's because it's so fucking contorted. Just... Yeah, fuck. So, uh, yeah, so we got ADB connect, ADB devices, ADB disconnect, and then finally ADB uninstall. 
And with the uninstall here, um, all I did was com.hotnoob.app1, which is... What you might call it? Fuck. Which is the import or a library or whatever you want to fucking call it. I don't even know what it's called in Java. The package. There we go. The package name um, that I used in my app. Fucking Java. Oh, anywho. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be doing some uh, basics with the programming. Which is, again, a fucking pain in the ass. But at the same time, there are some really nice little things about Java. But they're mostly fucking suck. Anywho, let's continue on.